Justin in Woodstock, Illinois. See more better with free prescription lenses.com. But call me Mo Mo Better because I'm going to have you seeing more better, looking more better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. When I cut Crizal Sapphire 360 UV lenses for your Oakley 8046, that is the airdrop in the 57 eye size and color Satin Core 10, which is color. Oh, what color is it? It is color 11. 11 in the 57 eye size. Now, this frame comes in four sizes. This is one of the rare frames from Oakley that does come in four sizes. It comes in the smallest, which is a 51, a 53, a 55, and this being the largest. By the way, this is your hard shell Oakley case, and this is your Oakley cleaning cloth carrying bag. If you don't want to carry the hard case, you can carry this bag around. Inside is the... Of course, comes a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And this is the, where's my flashlight? It is the Oakley 8046 Airdrop, color 11 in the 55 eye size, the Satin Core 10. And, of course, it says Airdrop on this temple. So, let me take out the original demo lenses. And put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. By the way, I have finished with your Ray-Ban 5356, color 2383, which is the tortoise and brown in the 54 eye size. You got these with the Crizal Provencia lenses. And of course, you're going to get the original packets, and you'll see me highlight that and right on there, right and left. But that is your first frame that I just finished up on, and now we will do your second frame. So I'm going to put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker, program this shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 1664. You should be 1663 for this one. So that years from now, should you ever want new lenses for these frames, I can pull the shape up and send them right to your home. I'm going to hit start. A little stylus is going to go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine authentic Oakley frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. Now again, I should back up and say that I am an authorized Oakley dealer, but as a small independent optician, I was told that I'm not legally allowed to put pictures of the individual frames with prices on my website. So if there's anyone out there who wants a pair of Oakleys with free prescription lenses, just email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. Tell me what model number, size, and color you want. I'll log in, see the check on the price and availability for you, and hit you right back. So... That is the shape that I'll be cutting. Your pupillary distance for your right eye and your left happens to be 34 each. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the plus button until we get to 34. I do want to raise the optical center height up 2 millimeters to 19. I'm going to write that down. We're going to go 2 above and cut it at 19 millimeters high. Let's go ahead and get your lenses prep. Your right eye is Plano minus 50 at 120. Plano minus 50 at 120 put the power drum on zero take the lens out of the protective sleeve that it comes in it comes with a little laminate on the front of the lens to protect the so nothing rubs against the front of the lens while it's being shipped inside this packet of course i'm going to wrap your whole frame up when i ship to you so we don't have to worry about that but it's on plano so i just need to rotate it your lens so we get to the right power the spherical component of your prescription check your astigmatism correction that looks good, and I'll explain all that in a little bit. Put three dots on your lenses, and you should be able to see that. I'm going to darken it if you can't. Uno, dos, 25, and this is the right lens. Oh, and just because this is the right lens, let me get my tools ready. Again, Plano minus 50 at 120. Plano minus 50, and... The reason why I write on here, I want you to know that you are receiving the Essilor brand Crizal Sapphire 360 lenses with UV. So you see me write on here in the video, Hey Judith, 
the cleaning crew is here but I'm gonna keep going left lens is Plano minus one at 80 turn the axis wheel to 80 degrees power drum is still on Plano I don't have to do anything there Plano minus one take the lens out of the protective packet take the laminate off the front of the lens put the lens in rotate into the spherical component which is the Plano comes into view check the power on that hang on one second if you don't okay sorry about that I had a knock on the door it was the boys in blue I had triggered the alarm earlier and uh, it just shows the great response time them showing up doing their job everything was happy everyone was good got the chance to show them some I showed them what I was working on and the officer said I'd literally have this car I mean this in my patrol car right now that's his clear pair he was wearing the Oakley Holstons as his sunglasses but that's really cool um, the, the, the police officer was wearing this exact frame when he showed up but anyway back to what I was doing so Plano minus one at 180 I mean at 80 80 so let me put the three dots on here they were actually standing at the window watching me work they were being quiet and I thought I heard something that's why I turned the camera off I'm like guys speak up but the cleaning crew was here they were letting them know what I do and okay okay so the left lens I don't want to forget Plano minus one Plano minus one at 80 you grab the pen so you know that these are the authentic packets you'll be receiving and this is the left lens now guys again if you missed any of that let me recap <laughs> I've told that joke a hundred and actually a thousand and fifty seven times and it keeps getting funnier every time I tell it so this is the block or as I need to call them Jenny from the block I need to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers to these while uh, they are cutting to in order to get them to cut so I'm gonna put that sticker on the first block do the same thing now for the second one pull the paper away to make the black side sticky I'm gonna line the on the back is a silver button that is a magnet that's gonna line up with a magnet there in the chuck and the arm of the chuck of the arm where was I oh there, I had it covered up so the reason why I put those three dots on there it tells me that it's oriented in there just perfectly so I'm gonna get everything laid out and check something here let's do this hang on let's do this let's see something here yeah now we're cooking with gas now we're cooking that's what I'm talking about just making sure the lens is large enough and it is although this little arm is in the way I don't like when that happens but it can be rotated but I don't need it to because everything is laying out just perfectly hit that button the arms gonna come down place the block onto the right lens we're gonna do the same thing now for the left lens pull the paper away to make the black side sticky line up the magnet the lens again same pupillary distance same optical center height make sure everything is laid out there got the block on there make sure the lens is large enough and it is and I'm gonna hit that button the arms gonna come down place a block onto the left lens so Justin this is the first this is his first pair of prescription glasses this is like getting the convertible Mercedes on your 16th birthday this is gonna spoil you so this is his first pair of glasses and this is the first time I've ever been interrupted in a video by the police <laughs> so but hey I'm not handcuffed everything's going well I do have a rubber band that's almost a handcuff and a watch band if I clip this on there yeah no that's still not gonna work okay speaking of work let's get back to work here this is the edger this is what costs forty thousand dollars it weighs 200 pounds it's going to do all the work as I continue to run my mouth the cutting wheel is this heavy grit sandpaper to grind away your lens material from this size down to this size this wheel in the center that's going to put the little bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame so let's go ahead and put the right lens into the machine the magnet is going to do its job a second time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck or by now you know I like to call it the Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck I'm going to these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or trivex I would select that but we're going to stick with polycarbonate because of its great qualities I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens I am going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens I'm gonna hit the green arrow which is start in every language I just cleaned the door earlier so the clamp shuts the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame and you can see as this go around tracing the shape of the right lens 
And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly precisely where to place the bevel for the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which, Justin, you will have none in this frame with your prescription. Now, I do cut very strong prescriptions all day long for how much? For free when you buy the frames. And that is a little bit more critical, but you don't have to worry about it on yours. Now, the light flickering in the background is water there to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex lenses cut wet. Meaning that water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto these lenses, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any of the optical debris that you see beginning to form. Your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. Polycarb is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high-impact ballistics grade lenses. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Woodstock, Illinois. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Now, if you notice your lens is completely flat around the edges, if I were to take it out now, it would stand up on the counter, but it's just double checking itself to see ex again exactly where to place the bevel. Now you have the Crizal Sapphire 360. Now, Essilor calls polycarbonate air wear because they feel it's as light as air. You have the Crizal Provencia in your Ray-Bans, which has the blue light protection in it. And you've got the Crizal Sapphire 360 in your Oakleys. Provencia has a purplish coating. The Sapphire has a blue coating. I'll show you that in just a moment. Now the machine that applies your Crizal anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. So water has begun spraying onto the lens. It d tells me it's in the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle. It's there to wash away any optical debris. In just a moment, a lever will come out. At the end of that lever is a spinning disc. It's going to be a super fine sandpaper to grind away any rough edges on the back surface of your lens that is left over from the cutting cycle. Even though no portion of this lens will protrude from the frame, I do that because as I insert the lens into the frame, I don't want any rough edges from the freshly cut lens to rub in contact with your frame. Just a moment, I'm gonna open this door with my mind and then we'll see if the lens fits first time around or if I'll need to take a little bit more off. If you like that, I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can, I just gotta stare at it for a couple hours, but then I can do it. So I'm gonna run my thumb around the edge of the lens, getting off any optical sawdust. And I'm gonna tuck the lens in at the outside corner using my thumbs. I press down the nose. Yeah, it snaps in easily. So let's go ahead and start cutting the left. We're going to press that on there firmly. Hit start. Just like before the door closes, the clamp shuts. And again, the lens is going to be traced by the two styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame first go around. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left side of the frame. And just like before, it's measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you got none. You see that, Justin? You got no edge thickness whatsoever with your prescription in this frame. So while the left lens is cutting, I'm going to go ahead and inspect the right. I'm going to take the block off, use my hand approved drying method, put that to my sticker collection. We're going to come down here to that black dot. I'm going to need to turn the fine tune knob back to 120. Check the power and actually I don't even have to move anything. Where's my flashlight? And I'm getting Plano zero, no power whatsoever because you, have, you are neither far-sided nor near-sided. You have the same amount of power. I mean, you need no power to see far away. You do have two steps of astigmatism correction in your right eye. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike of the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine-tune knob. A straight line is zero to 90 to 180. 
We're going to turn that fine tune knob to 120 just past the 90th meridian. So let's check the power. And I'm getting minus 50, exactly halfway between 0 and 1. So you have two curves on your lens. A plano curve this way and a minus 50 curve this way is how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. Now your left eye, same amount of non-correction needed. I know that's not really a term. But you have four steps of astigmatism correction. And we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 80. So we're going to stop just shy of the 80th meridian now. Now this last, these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. It just tells us where to correct for things. Now the Oakley Airdrop 8046 and either of the four sizes, 51, 53, 55, or 57, sells for 173. The Cruzal Sapphire adds 139.99 for the total of 312.99. This Ray-Ban, I forget how much this Ray-Ban sells for. I think like 160 or 170, 175. This is the Ray-Ban 5356, color 2383 in the 54 eye size. This also comes in a smaller, either a 51 or 52, possibly 50 eye size. I really can't remember. Classic P3 shape, but this is the classic tortoise with green around the edges there. With Crizal Provencia. So, Justin, I appreciate you finding me. I appreciate you getting your first pair of glasses ever from me. That's, that's special. That's nice. You could have gotten your glasses from anyone, but you chose to help support a small local independent optician who's out there competing with the corporate giants. And I do thank you for that. So in just a moment, we're gonna, the door will open. Let me get your frame ready. Open up this clamp, pull the lens out, dry everything off, run my thumbnail around to get all the optical sawdust, the schwarf, off the edge of your lens. Tuck the lens in at the outside corner. And actually, it does not want to go, so I'm going to take it down a tenth of a millimeter. I'm going to hit retouch has a little bit more power on the left side so slightly thicker just enough to prohibit it from easily popping in and that's why I put the safety bevel on there because as I was pressing let's get this Oakley lens as I was pressing the lens in there and applying force I didn't want to scratch even the least little bit the edge of that frame now here's a good teaching moment for years from now should you ever need new lenses you turn the frame upside down where the temples are facing upwards. I grab this part of the frame, pull upwards, I'm going that way. Using my thumb, I'm going to press downwards with my thumb, holding the lens by the other side. So I'm going to pull the top of the frame that way, pushing down with this thumb, and out comes the lens. To pop the new one in, you rotate it upwards, tuck the lens in at the outside corners, push down at the nose, it snaps right in. That's when everything goes well. So. Let's see if it fits this time around. The old carpenter saying, you can always cut more off of a board, you can never add it back on. So I'm glad that I start large and work my way down. So, tuck this in at the outside corner and push down the nose. It snaps right in. Take this block off. Use my hand approved drying method again. Add that to my sticker collection. Come down here to this black dot. Put it in the lensometer. Turn the fine tune knob to 80. Check the power and I'm getting Plano, which is zero. Plano minus one. Let's check your astigmatism correction for the left eye. The second curve I'm reading that comes into focus is at minus one, so that is cut perfectly. Your pupillary distance is 34 for each eye for a total of 68. I'm going to turn the card around. I'm going to place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens. 
hold it up to the left lens we're getting 68 millimeters so that is cut perfectly now this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses I mentioned that this purchase is tax-free and includes free shipping anywhere in the US now I'm pointing out that it's always been tax-free but most people who sell online and now have to charge tax I do not all of my purchases from me are tax-free because I'm in North Carolina North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device and there is no tax on eyeglasses in North Carolina so because this purchase was three hundred twelve dollars and ninety nine cents if you had purchased them from a state let's say with an average of eight percent sales tax you would pay another twenty four dollars and ninety six more just for the same frame and lenses combination of course who out there is going to give you free lenses that's what I want to know who else is only going to charge one thirty nine ninety nine for Crizal Sapphire most people charge up to 180 to 200 for that but anyway, when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side could sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first after I finish using your cleaning cloth to, uh, to clean your lenses. And I field test every cleaning cloth, so if you see wrinkles in here when you open up your package, you know that it works. <laughs> you can't say that you can't clean it. So, but I'm going to get them in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set it on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, I'm wearing my Oakleys with Pilot Temples also. This is known as a Pilot Temple. So if you had a motorcycle helmet, or a, this was actually designed for fighter pilots in World War II, where they could slide their glasses on and off without having to take their helmet off. But all of my other glasses have to be adjusted, not these. Somehow these are self-correcting. Now I'm wearing the Oakley 8132 cross range switch. It's called the switch because as you pull this lever down, you can take the temple off and change the colors, although you're always going to have that orange no matter which one you put on there. But, let me put mine back on so I can see. Now see, I have the Crizal Sapphire also, so our lenses are the same color. The Provencia has a purplish hue to it. Sapphire, hence the name Sapphire, has a bluish hue. That's how you can tell the difference. There's only one anti-glare coating on the market that has a purplish hue. Up until the Crizal Provencia, all of the Crizal coatings were greenish purple. This one is a true purple color. For Provencia, the sapphire is blue since all sapphire precious stones are blue themselves. All right, now that I can see, flip that over, press down, there is no wobble, close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do that neither temple is askew. So, if you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram is freeprescriptionlenses.com. On Twitter is freerxlenses. If you have any questions, now again, I am an authorized Oakley dealer, but I just cannot list the individual frames, the pictures with prices on my website. So do what Justin did. He called me at 919-491-2411 or he emailed me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com. You can always simply click the contact me button on the website or you can leave a question or comment in the comment section below and I will respond back to that. But Justin and Woodstock, Illinois, thank you for the purchase of the Ray-Ban 5356, color 2383 in the 53 eye size with your Crizal Provencia lenses. And of course, thank you for the purchase of the Oakley 8046 Airdrop, size 57, color 11, the Satin Core 10 with her Crizal Sapphire lenses. And now everyone else has got the chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.